staff of Stormwind's treasury. The prices you are suggesting are insane. The war chief, high-end technologies are very expensive. Do you realize how sophisticated the production of gas for Zeppelins is? Not to mention the cost of refining filters, pumping machines, and explosives? War is not a cheap endeavor, and we're already giving you a half to this guy. As you never failed to mention, but these prices better reflect reality, little goblin, or there will be consequences. It's the law of supply and demand, War Chief, nothing more. We are in no position to dictate the price, and neither are you. Watch me. I will give you 20,000 Stormwind Royals, and that is how it will be. 30,000. 20,000. 28,000. The price will be 20,000. 27,000. Maybe I should smash your head, enslave your people, and give your holdings to the Bilgewater Cartel. How does that sound? <laughs> Okie okie, jeez, I will give you another discount. 20,000 store with royals it is. There are gold. Over there, little goblin. Satisfied customer. I will send you my finest engineers, War Chief.
Rosebrad has been decimated, and throughout the human kingdoms, the rumors of impending doom are spreading like wildfire. Well done, Rend. And well done too, Captain Utok. Thanks to your efforts, we know what awaits us in Lordaeron. Now it's time to reinforce our troops in Cosmodon. For the last year, our forces have successfully conquered almost all of the Cosmodon subcontinent. The only regions that still oppose us are the eastern coast and Ironforge itself. Our massive success at Crestfall has guaranteed that the western shores of Cosmodon are ours. Our forces in Dunargrath will ensure that no human support will ever reach the dwarves by sea. The North Passage to Lordaeron is cut off by our garrison in Dunmodur. The dwarves are caught. Good. Kilrog Derai and his clan will begin the assault on the rest of the Eastern Dwarven lands, starting from the abandoned Dwarven fortress of Grimbatol. Yes, War Chief. Our troops are prepared to fight. Verok, you will be given siege weapons, goblin explosives, and the finest warriors of the Blackrock clan. March to Iron Forge and bring it to its knees. That city must fall, no matter the cost. It will be done, War Chief. Samuro, I want you to assist the Blackrock forces with the siege of Iron Forge. The Burning Blade will not fail you, War Chief. The Dwarves are said to be stubborn and enduring warriors, so prepare for a long siege. We also must secure the eastern shores of the continent. The Twilight's Hammer Clan must go there and prepare the oil production infrastructure, using the equipment provided by our goblin allies. Meanwhile, the Blacktooth Green Clan must conquer the island of Tulbarad. Once the island is secure, they will signal the Storm Reaver fleet sailing towards the human kingdom of Stromgard from Baylor Island. Zulohead, I want you and the rest of the Dragon Maw clan to aid Main Blackhand in Western Cosmodon if anything goes wrong. Yes, War Chief. Generals and Warlords, you're dismissed. Warlocks, stay. Has Gul'dan made any progress on the warriors he promised me? War Chief, please! I mean no disrespect, but you must be patient. Gul'dan is working hard on your task in his laboratory on Baylor Island. My patience is not infinite, Warlock. Tell that to your master. Yes, War Chief. Necros, you will stay under the command of Zulohead. Attempt to contact Gul'dan and you will be buoyed alive. Am I understood? As you wish, War Chief. Cho'Gal, I want you to personally oversee the construction of the oil facilities on the eastern shore. You will go there as soon as Kilrog has secured Grim Batol. Hmm. We will need an escort during the march through the swamps of wetlands. I will take care of that. Now, be gone! <laughs>